What's going on Trojan fans, Blackie Chan with the Light the Torch podcast coming to you with another video today. Another one. The third video today, the news never stops and I won't stop making these videos here. But before we get into this breaking news again, go ahead and like the video, subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of these uploads or the next time that we go live. Now let's get into this video. All right, USC is coming off a huge recruiting weekend and it's only getting richer at this point. So class of 2026 four-star defensive back Dominic Kelly has committed to USC. Kelly is a six foot one, 175 pound defensive back out of Tampa, Florida. He's ranked 156 nationally and the 10th ranked safety in the class of 2026. Dominic Kelly's commitment to USC amidst the evolving landscape of college football recruiting influenced by name, image, and likeness underscores a multifaceted recruitment process where traditional factors still play a pivotal role, while NIL has introduced a new dynamic allowing student-athletes to profit from their pro personal brand, not all recruiting decisions pivot solely on NIL opportunities. This is evident in Kelly's journey to USC where factors such as program prestige, coaching relationships, and campus visits were highlighted as a key to his commitment. NIL has undeniably changed the game, providing athletes with financial incentives that were previously unavailable. These opportunities can be particularly appealing at institutions that have robust support systems in place for athletes to maximize their NIL potential. However, the impact of NIL varies widely amongst recruits. Some prioritize the immediate financial benefits, while others focus more on traditional aspects of the recruiting process. The importance of building a strong relationship with the coaching staff remains unchanged. Trust and shared vision for an athlete's development and utilization on the field are often a decisive factor, as highlighted by Kelly's comments about USC. The history and prestige and track record of a program in developing players for professional careers continue to attract recruits. The chance to be a part of a storied program and receive top-tier coaching and competition is invaluable. For many student-athletes, the quality of education and the degree they will earn play a significant role in their decision-making process. The long-term benefits of a degree from a reputable institution can outweigh the short-term financial gain from NIL deals. The overall college experience, including campus life, facilities, and the community remains a crucial factor for many recruits. The appeal of experiencing life in a new city or environment can be a major draw. Coach Henny is not the only one that's making a splash on the recruiting trail. Doug Belk, known for his recruiting acumen, exemplifies a coach who balances the allure of NIL with traditional recruiting strengths. As a coach who has built a reputation for developing talent and fostering strong player-coach relationship, Belk's approach to recruiting emphasizes the holistic development of the athlete, both on and off the field. His strategy likely focuses on highlighting how the program can develop the player's skills and prepare them for the next level, stressing the importance of an education and life after football, and also creating a family-like atmosphere within the program that appeals to recruits looking for a supportive environment. While NIL has added a new layer to the recruiting landscape, decisions like Dominic Kelly's commitment to USC reminds us that the foundational aspects of recruiting remains influential. Coaches like Doug Bogue, who can navigate the complexities of NIL while maintaining a focus on traditional recruiting strengths, are likely to continue succeeding in attracting top-tier talents to USC. With all that being said, USC is making huge splashes on the recruiting trail, so let us know in the comments down below of how you think this class is going to turn out for 2025. I know 2026 is a little bit far out, but I do believe that our coaching staff can main these kind of connections with these recruits all the way up until 2026. So go ahead and let us know in the comments down below how you think this class is going to turn out and how do you think the future of recruiting for USC is going to turn out as well. So until next time, Trojan fans, fight on.